sorry, do I know you? Petolaga's court. Kopalang kupel len. Enon kupel le pi. Aketo bula la hap. Mona o. Onzo eming le namu. Onzo mo shena met. Kwa. Aswari. Eno wiki le le fei bane. O chale le ko le le. Ada wise. Nyakana. Ena hau nyakana. You know just a fengu fengu en. O tai talk a wash down it. Mo kwanj. Hello everyone, welcome back to ASR, African Stories Realized. This is our weekly review of Adulting Season 2. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Episode 3 picks up at Eric's place, where his new girl, Dominguez, is making herself at home and cooking up breakfast. She also meets Eric's mother, who doesn't approve of the new girl Eric has brought home. The gents then link up at the gym, where a man comes looking for Vuyani, revealing that he is in debt. He asks Bonga to lend him 50000 but Bonga claims that his money is all tied up. Vuyani then resorts to taking up private workout sessions with Tembi Sethi's character, an older woman named Portia. She pays him 30000 for the session, but she makes him work for it, promising him that there's more where it came from. Meanwhile, Mpo pays Balisa a visit and has accepted that the daughter is his. He takes the decision to come clean to Zitulele. However, he backs out and instead spoils her out of guilt, especially when Zitulele suggests that they start trying to have another baby. The gents then get a chance to meet Dominguez, who invites herself to Bonga's birthday celebration. The gents beg Eric not to bring her to the party. Eric disregards the warnings and brings her to the party where she didn't hesitate to threaten a girl she felt was flirting with Tiki Tiki. Despite Bonga telling them to leave their women at home, Wiyani and Mpo also arrived with their partners, Zelda and Zitulele. During the party, Bonga and Mpo had a heart-to-heart -heart where he offered Mpo the opportunity to subcontract on one of his jobs. This will allow him to make some extra money for Palisa and his daughter rather than steal from the savings he has with Zitulele. Bunga then returns to hooking up with women in the party until he is rudely interrupted by Buthe, the girl he kicked out last week. She once again causes a scene, which ends with Bunga kicking everyone out and ending the party prematurely. Two of the women from the party stay behind to keep Bonga company, but his after party is also interrupted by a knock on the door. To his surprise, the unexpected visitor is his father. The episode ends with the revelation that Bonga's father has cancer. What a roller coaster of an episode for Bonga. The poor guy was just trying to celebrate his birthday with his boys, but that was easily the worst adulting party ever. I had totally forgotten about Bonga's father, needless to say, they don't have the best of relationships, which is why Bonga didn't initially believe the test results were real. He knows his dad is very manipulative, and I expect him to push his luck in the coming episode. Mpo is playing a dangerous game, and it's only a matter of time before Zitulele finds out about his love child. I wonder if we're gonna get a Christmas episode next week. I think it would be really cool and I'll be back next week with another review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is ASR for the love of African filmmaking and storytelling.